Alright, come on, grab your bag, let's go. Go ahead, tell Hey, what's up? It's Fat Man Scoop, Real Gully TV. What we're doing right now is, um, you see your man is international, you out here in Dubai. I'm international for a living, so what I want you to do is see what my process is, because a lot of people think, oh, Fat Man Scoop, where the fuck he been? I move and shake every week, 49 weeks of the year for 20, 23 years. Watch how we do it. Yeah. So right now we're here in Dubai mm -hmm. at the Cavalli Club. Cavalli Club is one of the biggest clubs in Dubai. Uh -huh. And I'm just going to take you out of my sound check so you can see like what happens during the sound check. Got it. Kids, the sound check. Y'all want a sound check? That's me. I'm that guy. I'm not that guy. <laughs> the red carpet where kids fall on the red carpet. See you go. That's, that's that guy. Hello. You can't come. You can't come to Dubai without having beautiful people. And this is what they do. They just have beautiful people just standing around. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't come overseas without naked pictures. <laughs> ah, this is where I belong. I need to see, man. Can somebody tell me where I can buy this seat? So, as you can see, this is some wild shit right now. You know, you sit in here. Is this your media room? Huh? Media room? Well, no, no, this is the, this is the elevator, bro. This is an elevator. Oh, it's an elevator. So. Um, this is how they do it. Everything in the Middle East yeah. and in China is always larger than life. Mm -hmm. When you go to the Middle East and you go to China, especially in the Middle East, like people in the Middle East do shit huge. So if you, of course, you've been out here, you've seen the Burj Khalifa. Yeah. It's the, one of the tallest buildings in the world. It's one of the most beautiful buildings in the world. The fish tank is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. So I want you to see something. This is not a media room. This is an elevator. of course and you know people may ask why I shake everybody's hand I come from a place that nobody is more important than anybody the fucking janitor is as important as the fucking head man and if you don't have these people you don't have the club so, the, the, the equipment trainer is as important as the quarterback in my world. Everybody has a place and everybody has a job. One piece of that job doesn't function, you don't have anything. And this is a very important piece of a club. No doubt. Fish, bro. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Now, this is the GM. Like I said, those people are the people over there. This is the GM. This is the man who pays the bills. This is the man who cut the check. Right. <laughs> This is the man. Come back, man. This is the man. Thank you, Come back, Thank you man. Back. This is the man I need. This is the man that called me. So that's the GM. Yep. You ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. This where, side, Mike. Where's, where's the um? Where's the yeah. Yeah. Oh, this stage goes up and down. Yeah. This stage goes up and down. I haven't yeah. been here. I haven't been here since the refund. Yeah. I haven't been here since the refund. It's a new one. Just Yeah. Hold on. Let me see. So this is the refund. And it goes up, look. Oh shit, platform. This is like my, I got my practice clothes on right now, so right. not my stage clothes, but it, it goes up and, you know, it has a nice, there's a nice floor where, you know, you don't slip or whatever, so you can, you know, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and that's one of the things that I do. I jump around on stage. I don't, right. I don't, um, I don't just go, hey, it's important. You can bring the stage down, I need to jump off. Yeah, Thank you, man. So if you look, it's the Cavalli Club, so it's set up like a runway. Mm -hmm. As you can see, you come out here, and it's set up like a runway, it's going down now. Yep. Um, I don't know how the fuck to get off here, all right. This. Okay, cool. Whatever the fuck, let me walk down. 
take it one step further like you perform and dudes are sitting here at a table okay right? dudes are sitting here at a table on some shit like this so that's real vip yeah this is real vip like motherfuckers legs crossed and everything like like look at this like they doing it like that they watching you and they doing it like that and then you have the tables of course and then you know you got the stage whoa, 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 whoa. So now we're going to do what's called, now we're going to do what's called a sound check where you fucking check the sound check. Um, let me grab this. Hold on, what's going up here? Oh, which way? most beautiful clubs in Dubai. It's uh, where a lot of rich people come and shit. And as you can tell, it's laid out on some real, just crazy shit. Look over there, I forgot they cut the, they cut the lights on. Oh, I didn't even see that part back there. Was, that was like behind the screen a second ago. Beautiful club. And a lot of people may look at it and say, well, where the fuck is Fat Man School? I don't ever hear him. I don't know where he's at. I do this kind of shit 49, 40 to 8, 49 weeks a year for the last 20 years. Just because you don't see me in America don't mean I'm not moving. I'm really shaking out here. Like, really. So, if you don't know, just go investigate it. And that's not saying it from an arrogance point of view. I'm just saying, like, a lot of people say, ah, oh, like I see in the comments, ah, oh, where the fuck is he? Uh. No, I'm, I'm out here. I'm working, I'm working harder than your average rapper, basically. Dribbling. So, 100%. So, <laughs> so, i give you a good example. Um, yesterday I was in England. I flew here last night. Landed this morning, I'm here. At seven o'clock, I leave, go back to England for three days. Then I fly to America, I do two shows in America. I get back on the plane, fly to England, do two shows in France, fly on to Amsterdam, do a show and go back. That's my two weeks. So, you know, if the one thing I've been blessed, I've been really blessed to have is to be able to be, to have activity and to be lucky enough to have five strong, hit records and two of them be absolute classics which are which is lose control and um of course you got a hundred dollar bill get your hands up be faithful mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm just lucky in that respect and for me you know that's that's from the creator that's from whatever you want to call them the creator yahweh god i know whatever people want to call it whatever energy or spiritual force there is provider that's it now i know because i watched your thing this morning mm -hmm. when i landed here i saw you with a robe on Good. First of all, I'm going to explain something to y'all about how this man was dressing on his live. Some of y'all were commenting and saying, why the fuck he got a robe on? Look, when you do it, that's just what it is. Right. You're not used to doing it. Right. You know, like, you're not, if you look at that and say, well, why the fuck he in a robe? When you, it's not flashiness if you do the shit. Right. You know, one time I was on a date and I had on like a fucking... I had on like a fucking coat that was like a uh, fucking like some kind of coat. It was like a real nice coat. And the chick said to me, yo, you from Harlem. Why are you so flashy? I said, what the hell on? This is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to come here like I fucking just came off a shift from McDonald's? Right. Fuck out of here. Right. When you do it for real, people look at it as flashy. It's just what you do. Right. Period. Respect that. So, just do this. Let me get, let me, let me show y'all the process here. So now we're here, and now we're getting ready to do the sound check. Are you live on IG? Yeah. Oh shit, okay, I didn't know that. Um, what time is it in America right now? It's fucking... It's probably like around one. One? One in the afternoon or something like that. Let me see here. 
actually, yeah, what time is it here? It's, yeah, it's 12.30 in the afternoon. So, here is my setup. So, this is my, my shit. I use a, a software called Cuit. So I don't DJ like this, I DJ in a different way. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Um, okay, so we set that up. So this is my program, and what it does is it allows me to play songs through the computer mm -hmm. instead of having a DJ because, and that's important for me because I rock the mic. So when I rock the mic, I need to be able to hit songs and rock the mic. It's hard for me to DJ and do it like that. Right. Right, so we got this. Right, so we're gonna plug that in. Plug that into there. Dude's over there speaking Arabic. 100% fam. Um, So now I'm going to my actual songs. Let's see here, low profile. Okay, here we go. Mock dog with the lane. 